you're probably thinking, oh, he's playing a bunch of bull crap. Well, the first thing that da 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 that's actually a song called Deceiver. Um, that's mine, so you'll be hearing it. It'll all be done within the next couple of weeks. Um, and then lying, it's up to you. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Uh, you know what? I. I'm handing out Randy stories left and right only because people are asking me stuff. And it jogs the memory. Otherwise, I wouldn't have remembered that 7-Eleven one. And that's pretty, you know... The only thing I remembered was taking his picture because the pictures, I always see it online, the picture I took, and how it's like, oh, how crappy it is. Jeez Louise. So... <laughs> and I was say I'm am saving the uh, stories for the uh, documentary thing. <laughs> One is coming out. It's going to be in Espanol, and that's fine. I don't care. I, I wanted to do that in the first place. The other one, I don't know. I think that guy is on cloud, whatever. Cloud 430, is it? Or 420? Yeah. If he pulls through, but this guy has been, you know, taking like a film class for years. And I keep telling him, everybody I know that's in the industry, including anybody has ever made any film lately in the last 30 years or so never went to film school and if they did they dropped out because they realized it's a waste of time a master's in film is a waste of time now if you're gonna be a studio musician i would suggest going to mit and taking guitar whatever and learning how to read sight read and all that. that's very important if you're gonna be a studio musician like john five that guy makes tons of money. You think he's making all the money to buy all that crap and live in that house in the Hollywood Hills from Rob Zombie? Uh uh. He does a ton of studio work. The guy is an amazing guitar player. He can adapt to anything. Me, not so much. But that was never my dream. My dream was to, like, make it playing the way I play, you know, like McMars, you know, he's not an amazing player, but he gets the point across, and he's McMars, and people like him or not, he's a multi-millionaire, and he did it. Or C.C. DeVille, who actually I think is a really good guitar player, a lot of people think he sucks, but he actually is, I think, pretty good. Like I said, I sold him a Warlock, so he would call me Warlock. And I went down there to where they all, they all lived in this store. And they would sleep there, and poop there, and have sex there, and then in one room they had everything set up. And they just go in there and rehearse. That's why they were so friggin' tight. But Cece lived in an apartment you know, a nice apartment away from them, and then he'd come into the stinky hole of crap and, you know, rehearse with them until he was done, and he'd split. Because, you know, his parents were footing the bill. He came from back east, uh, I think New York or something. Not, you know, not a big poison guy. So, uh... <laughs> song but by poison but I used to know a couple but who cares um the only reason I don't like poison is because Ricky Rocket was trying to hit on my my first wife and I was going to kill him and uh, he was writing her letters and I just I went up 
until they chased him around the parking lot uh, trying to catch him. But, uh, that's what happens when you don't wear uh, shoes. <laughs> he can't run. But, whatever. Uh, he's an idiot. Um, no, I mean, nothing ever happened. But, uh, he's just, I don't like the guy. He's a dick. I still don't like I just don't like Ricky Rocky. Period. I never have. Bass player. I own two of his cabinets, or three. I didn't, but my, yeah, I did. But I gave him a friend of mine to hold, and someone stole them. So, they're like four Ampeg cabinets. They're gone. Uh, you know, C.C. DeVille, there's that story. You know, he called me Warlock. Uh, he tried to warn me about the Sea Hag. He, he shows up throughout my career. And then even after, uh, I saw him in the late 90s when he was still, eh. And, uh, I talked to him. And I'm like, dude, so what's up with you? And he's like, what do you mean? I go, dude, you had everything, and now... What's going on? You should just get back into... He wasn't in Poison. They weren't playing or... It, it was it was on and off, I think. That's the best thing that happened, though. When they kicked out CeCe and got that other guy, and then he ended up having an affair with Ricky's wife. <laughs> See? But I, I, you know? I, mm. So... CeCe's a very nice guy. I think we sat down once at the Rainbow and had uh, a drink. And that's it. Other than that, that's it. I mean, and then he tried to stop me from taking home the Sea Hag. He's like, Warlock, you don't know what you're doing. I'm like, what? Are you so jealous that you want her? He's like, dude, if you could just take off those... Those beer goggles or whatever he said. Son, whatever, I can't remember. I was wasted. But he's saying, if you could just see what I could see. And I'm like, what's everybody tripping out? Of? You know, because the Sea Hag story, I actually told this at a stand-up place. And it got, just everybody was dying. Because I told it very graphic. And it is funny, but it's strictly four guys. And it's kind of lengthy, and I'm not going to get into it. But, uh, it was just the, this girl I met, and I, you know, da -da 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 -da. the next day I wake up and say, ah, whoa, because I was like 24, and she was 42, going on 82, but, you know, she looked good, she was a dancer, she worked at the raunchiest place in the valley called, uh, Thirsty's. I mean, they had like one light bulb, so you could barely see a girl dancing. And, you know, the bodies look good, but, you know. Anyways, the whole thing is, the next day when I saw her, I'm like, Yike, I gotta go, I gotta take you home now. And she's like, well, no, let's hang it out, you're, you're, you're my boyfriend now. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I go, look, and I'm hanging over real bad. I ran in the house, slammed a few beers came back out, because we were in the garage where the rehearsal place was, and there was a bed there. I'm like, you gotta go now. So I took her home, and we're driving down uh, Roscoe Boulevard or Avenue or whatever the hell it's called, and she's like, okay, that park, stop there. And I'm like, oh, you live in those apartments or those apartments? She goes, no, that bush. I'm like, what? She goes, no, I live in that bush. I go, you're homeless? She goes, well, I've only been homeless a couple of months, but that bush is where you'd be surprised. I'm like, nah, I, I, oh my gosh, got to go to the doctor tomorrow. So I let her go, and she said, you know, I'll call you. I'm like, no, you won't, but she'd taken a flyer that had my number and, like, the band's number and everything. Oh, that was a Nightmare! Nightmare! But she lived in a bush. But she was gangfully employed at Thirsty's. I know this isn't a Randy Road story. I don't even know how to bring it back to a Randy Road story. Uh, Randy Rhodes. Sitting in a tree. I, I don't know. Uh, I know you guys really want to hear something. I can't think of anything. Did anybody ask me anything? I don't think so. I haven't checked. 
anything. Um, see, you guys got to ask me stuff. Some guy think <laughs> you suck. I love those comments. So I go to his site, beep, which just says J, and there's nothing there. No subscribers, no picture, nothing. No, no nothing. No videos, nothing. He just made a site or made a page to get online on YouTube to tell me I suck. That's a big effort. I deleted him, but, you know, hey, you know, good for you. I would think, well, is he right? But I've got 12 other things saying that that's incredible, you're, that's amazing, da 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 So, I mean, you know, hey, I'm not amazing, but I first think I can't feel anything in this hand. That's amazing that I can play anything, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, I would just, you know, go with that. That Oh, see. I made that just so he could comment, and I just deleted him. Sorry, John. <laughs> Nothing. It's just... It's just you just made it to wow you know that's amazing it's kind of impressive actually thank you for going out of your way to okay so just a guy just coming kind of, randy stories what can i say that i haven't already okay let's go back to the beginning okay let's go back to the you know the first time i saw him was uh I don't know. I don't know when the first time I saw. Him. But the first time I, I when I went over to his house to see about lessons, you all know that one. Knocked on the door. He answered. I said, "Hey, my friend told me that uh, or he's taking he takes lessons from you and the guy that I take lessons from He's not, you know, he's not doing it for me. Can I, can I uh, take lessons from you? He's like, sure. Hold on a minute. And he goes, gets a card, gives me a card. He goes, here, call my mom and set it up with her. I'd be glad to have you as a student. As a student. I'm like, cool. And I got on my, I think it was a dirt bike or a 10-speed. I don't know what I had. And uh, rode off. And I, th I think I thought I was with my friend Brent but I don't talk to Brent anymore so can't ask him I mean we're friends on Facebook but that doesn't mean anything <laughs> because you know I don't know what the you know we haven't talked in decades literally I think the last time I saw him I gave him the finger because I was in a better seat than he was at the kiss concert, you know, at the reunion shows, not, uh, you know, any of these recent things. So there you go. That's, you know, I wish I could tell you something else. I could just retell. I can't think of anything, though. If you guys ask, ask me stuff, and it'll jog my memory, and I'll, and I'll think of it. I can't just, boop. I just wanted to play this guitar to see how it sounded because I might take it up to Utah with me to finish recording. That's what this video is for.
might redo that song. I mean, it's very simple, but it's called. It was called "Night of the Wolf," trick or treat song. It's very simple. And then right there, when I, you know, it's more to it, but there is a breakdown where it just be the bass, boom, 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 which Tony could pull off, thank goodness. And then uh, Mandy would, you know, it, the bass and drums like boom, 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 boom. And Mandy would go, and then I would, you know, growl. Hopefully. Well, a little better than that. But I would growl on the guitar, and people just friggin' love that. So maybe I should do that. That would be a cool song to do. Cause I, I don't know about that or that. Kill switch. The first person I ever knew that ever had one put on their guitar. This is for the pickups, which I never use because that's unhooked. And kill switch. Because when you have a blazing Marshall stack behind you, you need to be able to kill this thing. You can turn it down, but you know, I usually played full throttle or no throttle. Except for when I was doing the... So, but I don't remember how I did it. Oh, that's off. Yeah, I used the kill switch. Anyways, this is my beauty. My friggin... Charvel, 1980 Charvel Star with a very early Kaler and a Fender, 78 Fender neck Strat, all maple, all maple. This is beautiful bird's eye maple, beautiful. One solid piece, one piece. And I got pictures of it with tape, because I taped it, you know, because it was a Motley Crue thing to do. So that means it must have been about 81, so. Because almost every gig, uh, Nicky would just tape his bass different and then tape himself with red tape different. So that's how he came out with different stuff. And he started with those red boots. And that was, you know, the movie is so off, but, you know, it, it, it gets the point across. I mean, if someone even did that, but even that cost, a, like, a, I don't know, several hundred thousand dollars or more, hundreds of thousands to do. They had to hire the actors. They had to go down to New Orleans, shoot the whole thing there, blah, 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 blah. And then they had it made from digital into film so they could show it at the Cinerama Dome for their premiere. But Molly Crew has that much money.
Subscribe and comment because if you don't comment, I'm not going to know what to do.